There's a couple of things that we would, we would like to see. One, uh, we would like to see that the combination results in a prolonged response. So we know from, with a single BRAF inhibitor, generally about half the patients start become resistant to about five to six months. So with the, with, the, with, with the addition of a MEK inhibitor, we'd like to see that much longer. You know, how much longer? Well, as long as possible. I mean, maybe never become resistant. Um, this, this phase one trial, uh, they don't have their final data yet as to how long that time to resistance is going to take. Uh, hopefully they will have some more data when they present the data at, at ASCO. But still, it's a phase one trial. There's only a, a s relatively small number of patients treated. The other thing that we would look for from this combination is like it's possible that this combination will result in a higher response rate. Uh, from what they've shown so far in their abstract, the response rate's about what we would expect with the BRAF inhibitor alone, but again, it's small numbers. Maybe we'd also see higher incidence of complete responses. And again, that will remain to be seen once we treat more patients. Right now, uh, those numbers don't jump out of the page. Uh, from their, their, their initial uh, patients, but again, it's a phase one trial.